Hey folks, welcome to the channel. We have my 2020 Silverado crammed in the shop here. Serpentine belt has gone bad, and I will show you how we figured that out here. So using a little water, you can tell if it's the pulley or just the belt. You go down here and you spray on the belt, and it quite gets quiet. So you can see there, you can see down there, spray on the little water in the belt, it will go away. And as that water dries off, it will start squeaking again. Squeaking? No squeaking. Basically by spraying that water onto that belt, it's showing you that the actual pulley itself isn't bad and that the belt is just shot. Unfortunately, GM did a fast one on us and there's no longer a tensioner pulley on these things. It's just an idler pulley and then the rest of the serpentine belt. Picked one up from Napa today. We're gonna go ahead and throw it on there and uh, hopefully it all goes well. I did try using some of that belt dressing stuff to hopefully make it, I didn't know the belt was worn out. Spritzed a little on there. So we're gonna have to clean that off today. We're gonna need some super clean to clean that stuff off of the pulleys before I put the new belts on because again, once it's on, it's on. There's, it's, it's a stretched style system. So we're gonna use this to clean that up. Pay attention down below. We are gonna be doing a giveaway for some super clean. So if you guys are interested, put down in the comments below. In all the comments up until I pull the drawing will be entered into the drawing. You just need to be in the lower 48 states. Sorry to my viewers in Canada and overseas, but that's just part of the criteria. I will randomly draw somebody and then I will ask you to reach out to me in my email and um, we'll get in touch and get you some free products. Let's go ahead and dig in and uh, go from there. First thing we gotta do is get this intake out of the way. We're gonna loosen up some screws here and pull it back. back in here. We need to loosen up all the throttle body. We should be able to pull this back. You guys can see I made a little bit of a mess down there with the belt dressing. So we're gonna clean that up with some super clean and get that belt off. You can see the belt's basically shot. No fraying on it, we'll get it cut off here. Now the belt is not super dry cracked, but it is kind of shiny and maybe a little harder, but you can see the fraying along that edge. That's a good indication that the belt has seen better days. Yeah, not ideal for sure. Let me take a look at these side by side. That's the new belt. There's plenty of groove there. The old belt, there's not near as much left. The profile is quite a bit smaller. So apparently 60, about around 60,000 miles, these serpentine belts are shot. Super clean is doing a great job getting all that grease off. Highly recommend if you got to take off some belt dressing like I made the mistake of using. Started rerouting the new belt, the stretch fit belt. We're going to go ahead and go down around the harmonic balancer, run some zip ties through so we can get the uh, belt held down. We'll put a, we'll get the rest of this back on the poles where they should be. We're gonna go ahead and put a bolt on the crank and rotate the engine over to get the belt to skip on. I don't know why GM didn't use this as a tensioner pulley versus an idler pulley. I guess maybe to make you take it to the shop. This not letting people work on stuff themselves thing is, is crazy anymore. This would have been done already. Hopefully you guys can see this down here. We got the zip ties around that belt already routed up here. We're gonna go grab our 24 millimeter socket, put it down there around the crank and see if we can't rotate this and get the pop on. Fingers and toes crossed. I'd use about, I did use about four zip ties there, and uh, hopefully that's enough. We'll see. You guys can go ahead and yell at me now here, but I can't find my half-inch extended ratchet, so I'm going to use my torque wrench so I can get some more leverage on this thing. It's on. I got it. 
Well, it's on. The zip tie trick worked. I'll be dipped. It's a hard time believing it, but it's on there. Hope you guys can see this. The zip tie trick worked. The belt's on. I was able to rotate that bottom pulley. There's not a lot of room, you know, in here for arms and mitts. So it would definitely be prepared to tear your arms up just a skosh. But, you know, it's on. And I saved myself about 220 bucks. Let's hopefully see that I fixed the problem. Let's go ahead and start the truck. Woohoo! Success! Purring like a kitten. Well, guys and gals, that's a wrap. We got the Silverado all put back together. Check out the links in the description below for some of these products. This belt, um, I picked up actually at Napa. It seems like a high quality belt that fits right on there. Use four to five zip ties. I used four the first time around. Um, I got it on without breaking any, but you know, the arms take a toll if you don't have a longer wrench. So get yourself out there a ways. And uh, don't be afraid to try this yourself. They quoted me around 250 bucks just to replace the belt. I bought the belt for $30 and it took me about, um, times it now. It took me about an hour to get it on. That's including taking it all apart and cleaning up all of the pieces that I made a mess on. Thanks for stopping. Hope you guys found this video informative and helpful. I'll catch you guys on the next one. We'll see ya. All right, time to get on to the next part of the project.